Now, as we come up with the solution for this problem statement, let us validate to make sure that data is stored the way the problem statement have asked us. So data have to be saved in text file format uh, in a zip file and data has to be delimited by comma and uh, uh, data has to be sorted by uh, month and then the um, sort in ascending order by month and then descending order by crime count per type and then crime type. This is how the results should be. And uh, as we have done some preliminary checks earlier, we can see that uh, the, the, the gzip file is created um, in this location and we cannot cat on gzip directly to preview the data. One of the way to preview the data is by running hadoop fs hyphen get command on this path to whatever location you want let me copy it to the current location either i can give the name in the current directory and i can say dot so that the data under crimes underscore by underscore type by month will be copied into the directory of same name that we can actually say like this crimes by type by month and then other siphon ltr and then uh, data is uh, gzip so we can use the command called gunzip and give the file name data will be unzipped and then we can uh, view the data in the file like this and you can see data is sorted in ascending order by date and then descending order by month this is one way we, where we can watch uh, preview the results after processing is done and uh, data is saved if the files are in text uh, text file format uh, like this uh, as it is zipped we have to get and we have to unzip and we have to see if it is not zipped we can actually directly get and see or we can also use hyphen cat command or hyphen tail command on hadoop fs that being said quite often we might have to preview the data for different file formats or any file format and in that case this approach might not work if you try to open avro file format uh, using the va editor then uh, you will see some binary characters for that reason a general way of validating the data is by reading this output into an rdd and then viewing the data from that rdd is much more reliable well way and it can be used uh, with any file format so what i will do is here i will create a variable called output equal to and then sv dot text file here we are talking about text data hence i'm using text file if it is different file format we have to use the corresponding api to read the data and i can give the directory name from here while reading, we don't need to worry about compression algorithms as long as the algorithm is supported. SC.text file or any relevant API is smart enough to uncompress and show the results for us. So we can actually copy this and paste it here. And then we can say output.collect. If I want to preview the entire dataset, I can use collect. Otherwise, we can use take and pass whatever number we want. So let me use collect for now and then for each println you can see the data is sorted in ascending order by month and then in descending order by uh, crime type and then this is the crime type itself okay uh, so this is how you can uh, look uh, validate the data to ensure that data is actually saved in the format you want and here you can see data is tab separated as it is text file uh, it is very very important to observe the delimiter also unlike uh, earlier when we actually read the data the data is comma separated now it is tab separated or tab delimited so validating data is very very important step after uh, the logic is written and uh, in some certifications, they might ask you to save the uh, uh, logic to a file. In some, they might not. In those cases, 
if you have to save the script to a file make sure you remove all those files which are not relevant for the solution directly for example in this file i should delete this one um, and then i should delete uh, this one I, I should delete these ones and uh, rest of the logic can be there and then i have to delete this one and then i have to save it as a into a file where um, it is the solution for our problem statement so this is how you can come up with uh, uh, the script also in case as part of the exam if they ask you to preserve the script it's better to remove the lines which are used to preview the data because they might run those scripts in their own environment and then they might automate uh, to see if the if your script is uh, uh, providing the results uh, the way it is supposed to be it could be the case or it could not be the case so it's better to remove all those uh, lines which are used to just uh, validate or preview uh, the intermediate steps or final step only make sure that you have the actual solution that being said we will see a uh, few more problem statements like this and come up with the solutions those will be a bit easier than this um, i just want to show uh, taking a bit complex example of how the problem statements could be and then we will actually see a, a bit simple ones as we proceed.